I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on empirical formula. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and author of the Dr. Destroyer book as well as the Orgo Man books for prep. What I want to go over with you today is a problem involving empirical formula and combustion analysis. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a compound undergo combustion and we're going to look at the CO2 in water. And what we're going to do is all the grams of carbon will be in the CO2 and all the grams of hydrogen will be from the water. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the oxygen by the difference. So come on around and I'll show you what we're going to do. It says here that I analyzed a compound and it contained carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And when I did this combustion on one gram of a compound, 1.953 grams of CO2 and 0.9991 grams of water was found. And I want to find the empirical formula. The empirical formula is the simplest formula. Now, for the DAT exam, the numbers will be much nicer. So as long as you know the concept, you're going to be good to go. We know that one gram of this compound includes CH and O. So one gram is going to be the grams of the carbon plus the grams of the O plus the grams of the H contribute to the one gram. So as I said, we're going to get the grams of CO2. Well, let me say this again. We're going to get the grams of carbon from the CO2 and we're going to get the grams of hydrogen from the water and we're going to get the grams of oxygen by difference. So I take the 1.953 grams of CO2 there's 12 grams of carbon for every mole of carbon. Or I can say there's 12 grams of carbon in 44 grams of CO2. That's a nice little conversion. And when I cross these out, that gives me 0.533 grams of carbon. Likewise, I go to the water. 0.9991 grams of water. There is two grams of hydrogen in 18 grams of water. Crossing out the grams of water gives me the grams of hydrogen. Now we go back in. We know the grams of carbon was 0.533. We know the grams of hydrogen was 0.111. And by difference, we can get the grams of the oxygen. Okay. Now we're going to lay the three elements out. CHO. We have 0.533 grams of carbon that we got from here. 0.111 grams of hydrogen from here and 0.356 that we worked so hard to get. I'm going to divide all the grams by their atomic weights. 0.533 over 12 is 0444. 0.111 over 1 is 0.111. 0.356 over 16 is 0223. I then divide by the lowest number. The lowest number of these three is 0223. So you divide them and that would give you two carbons five H's and one O. And that would be the empirical formula C2H5O. I hope this gives you a good idea of how we use combustion analysis to find the empirical formula. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.